What's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back. Who I got some new stuff in here. See, I've been working on my mountain bike lately and I got it all customized and everything. But what good is an awesome mountain bike when you don't have a proper action camera to go with it? Just record all your footage so you can upload it to YouTube and no one watches it. <laughs> Let's do it. So today we're going to be checking out this Brave 6 Plus action camera and I cannot wait to get into it because it's got some cool features that I saw on the uh, on the Amazon website. Go to the Amazon links, they're in the description and you can find out all that nitty gritty stuff. I'm just going to do an overview of what this thing is about, kind of unbox it and maybe get you some test footage going. So right off the top we have the action camera sitting right here in its own little house. We'll put that to the side. Got some accessories. Okay, it's labeled one, two, and three. All right, so I like the organization here. I like it a lot. Typically when you get an action camera, you're going to get accessories and there's always a plethora of accessories. So I'm gonna breeze through these real fast just because there's so many of them. All right, so I'll just lay them out here. Won't even tell you what they are. You can see them for yourself because if you are kind of familiar with GoPro type of stuff, uh, you'll know what these things are. So there you go, you get a nice array of of um, uh, mounting accessories here because it will mount with your traditional GoPro style stuff. But there are some things I do want to point out. I like this right here. So you can mount this onto a tripod and that way you can put it on a selfie stick or something like that. Um, you definitely need your swivel mounts and this is your pretty much standard that goes onto everything. But then you get this open cage right here and then you get your flats and you of course get a bike mount because I just did talk about mountain bike riding. So let's just move this to the side and then we'll talk about what's in pouch number two. What's in pouch number two? Oh, you get a battery charger. It's a double decker too. So that means there should be at least two batteries in here. Nice. So yeah, you get one and two batteries. All right, so let me tell you real quick, these are 1,350 milliamp batteries, uh, 3.7 volt. So they just smash in here and you can charge them up via USB-C, look at that, sweet, USB-C. And then you've got a remote with a shutter button and a record button right there that you can hook onto this strap and put it on your wrist. So I love having that. Now on to number three, what's in pouch number three? All right, more accessories, oh, we got some little sticky pads right here. That way you can stick it on your helmet or any kind of flat surface. Then you got some cable ties or zip ties right there. You got um, a clear back door for your camera. Uh, I'll leave this here just because we're gonna go to the camera next and get a cleaning cloth and your USB-C charging cable. Now, to the star of the show, this is your Brave 6 Plus action camera. So they give you this extra cage or back door. I wonder if it's exactly the same as the one that comes on it. It looks like it. Yeah, these. this is just another door. It's, it looks like it's gonna be the same exact thing. So yeah, it's just a spare door just in case you maybe scratch it up or something like that, I don't know. But let's just take a look at the cage real quick just to see what all the stuff is. So you got this, uh, this lens protector right here. Let me just take that off because we're not gonna need it because I will be using this bad boy pretty soon. Uh, this looks like a power button. We'll have to see once we take it out of there and see for sure. And then on the side, you got nothing. There, These are not even open. So this is a completely waterproof enclosure right here. You got an up and down and that could be a shutter button. I'm gonna assume that. And on the bottom, you got your mount. This actually has a mount on it already. So sweet. Now, let's get into the camera to see what that thing is all about. Let's see if we can get it fired up too. I hope these batteries have a charge. And I was correct, this is a power button right here. And this is gonna be your multifunction slash shutter button. And then you got an up and down interface right here. This is your USB port right here. Let me undo this flap. So you undo that flap right there. Then that, uh, I can't get all these cables straight. I know that's the USB-C, but I'm pretty sure that's a video, uh, like a mini HDMI or something like that. So you can probably put that in there. Then you have a speaker right here. Is it a speaker or a mic? It's probably a speaker. And then you have, is this the battery door? How do you get that open? Oh, okay, it flips open just like that. Let's shove one of these batteries in here and see what happens. All right, close the door. Let's take off this film right here. Oh yeah, new stuff. Mm -hmm. Hashtag new stuff in the comment section because I'm about to turn this bad boy on. All right, so let me mash on this power button right here, see what happens. Ooh, please have enough juice. All right. Asco Brave 6, here we go. No SD card. Mm. Let me get an SD card, I'll be right back. 
All right, I'm back with the SD card and it slides in right next to the battery. So let me just slide that in and it should only go in one way, hopefully. Yep, there it is. And it is formatted just that fast. So let me just close that battery door. Yeah, there you go. All right, so now we're looking at stuff, man. Look at you looking all at my business right there. Like you're not supposed to see what's on that side of the camera for a reason. That's the messy part of the room. You're supposed to be looking back there. Keep your eyes front, mister. All right, so we got this table right here and actually the screen is actually pretty nice man it's got this you know the color balance seems to be okay uh, this is a this is a controlled environment with these bright lights in here so we'll have to see how this thing functions oh was it touch screen it's a touch screen <gasps> sweet so yep okay so i can play back some footage right there can you see that that little triangle you can play back footage let me see Ah, you tapped a little camera right there. Let's let's get in here and dig into some of these settings since it's a touch screen. So the touch screen is actually very responsive, which is nice. Okay, so that's the end of that. But how do you get to the formatting part? Stupid, I'm not gonna let you get the chance. <laughs> ah, there we go, format. So this has all levels of uh, configurations here. You just go deeper and deeper into the menu. So it is formatted. And we can go into the video modes, which is normal, driving, time-lapse video, slow motion video, still photo. What else we got? Loop video. Uh, you can change your resolutions from 4K to 30, 4K 30, uh, 2.7K 30, 1440p at 60 frames per second, 1440 at 30, 1080p at 90, 1080p at 60. That's usually what I shoot at is 1080p at 60. And it's occasionally uh, 1080p at 30 or sometimes even 24, but it goes all the way down to 720, 120 and 720, 60. So you can have like every resolution possible here. Oh, we got image stabilization. Let's turn that on because I need to have my image stabilized. And then we got uh, the video encode. I don't know nothing about that. So let's check about the angles. So we got the wide angle. Okay, that's that super wide angle that I hate. Medium. And then, hold up, we got narrow. Okay, so let's see what, let's check the wide again. All right, so wide, yeah, wide kind of has that fisheye distortion to it. And uh, if we go into, let me see, if we go into medium, let's see, let's look at medium. What's medium about? Medium is definitely normal. Okay, hold on, let me go back into uh, the angle. Let me hit narrow and yeah, narrow and medium is where I would like to keep it because I like my format more, more or less widescreen, uh, 16 by nine versus the stretch. Like I don't need to see everything like 360. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on medium uh, because I am gonna take this out for some test shots. Uh, distortion calibration, we got audio. Yes, I want that on. Exposure, okay, let's keep that at zero. White balance, hopefully it's at auto, cool. And then we have metering modes. All right, we got Wi-Fi information. That means you can connect this to your phone and use this remotely. So that's always nice to have. And then we have, uh, you can select your date and time. What else? Uh, your usual stuff. You can use this camera upside down. So the orientation is, um, the orientation is gonna be determined uh, by the camera itself. It doesn't have auto rotation on it. That's what I'm determining from what I'm seeing here because you have to manually flip the orientation. Uh, the scene mode, what is that? Auto, personage, scenery, defog. Okay, so these are different scenes to kind of, you know, make your footage look more dramatic, I guess. All right, what else we got? Anything interesting in here? Uh, filters, whoa. Okay, black, white, brown, colorful. Okay, more stuff for the aesthetics of your film. And then we got, um, ooh, did that say voice control? What? Voice control and then there's driving mode. Oh man, there's so many features on here. Auto power off, let's do that. Let's do that after five minutes. And then uh, the frequency, I won't touch that. It's probably at 50 or 60. All right, so I'm really curious about this voice control madness. So let me see what this is all about. I see the little voice icon up here. So I wonder what the commands are. You know what, man? I'm gonna take this out and play with it a little bit and come back and show you what I learned and uh, we'll give you some test footage. So y'all hang tight, I'll be back soon. One eternity later. Man, let me tell you, it is next level hot out there. Took a little ride, actually it took two rides so I can get some video footage for y'all. Drenched my shirt and I had to take a break and now I'm all exhausted because the heat just beat me down. 
Anyways, I got it. So, you know, I appreciate the thanks, you know, for going out there and melting in the heat, but I got some footage for you. So what I did was put it on the frame of my bike. That way you could see it from a, a low view. And yeah, you're gonna see my foot pedaling and everything, but yeah, you can see it from a low view. That way I can get a lot of bouncing in there because I wanted to test out the image stabilization. So I did a test first where I'm riding the bike with no image stabilization on and it's at a low angle. And then I take it to my handlebars and I complete the ride. And yes, you can see a lot of jittering, especially on the handlebars. Not so much when I had it on the low angle, but then I came back and did the same bike ride and I put it back on the low angle next to my pedals and, and um, on the frame and the image stabilization seemed to work out really well. But where you really see the big difference is on the handlebars. You can actually see the image stabilization uh, working and doing its job quite a bit. You can still see a little shakiness in there, but it's a definite improvement from uh, when we did not have the image stabilization on. So it is definitely doing its job. But I do like this camera because it comes with some cool stuff. Man, let me go ahead and fire up this screen. Now, if you press this button right here, the one on the top, this up button right here, it actually turns on and off the Wi-Fi. And I guess you wonder why you need Wi-Fi. Well, it's because it comes with an app. If you download the Acaso app and you go to the Wi-Fi settings on your phone, you can actually access the camera. You see that right there? You see that? Okay, let me, let me look at something. All right, so now I'm looking at the camera on my phone. How cool is that? And there is a slight delay. I don't know if it's a full second, but there is a delay there. And you can also go into full screen. Let me put this down. You can go into full screen and check things out, you know, in full screen. And you can start recording or take your pictures from there. You can also review footage from here. Check this out. So if I want to review my footage, we can get that right there. And it actually plays the sound. Now, this is not going to be full resolution, even though it looks really good. This is probably 720p or something like that. I was recording in uh, 1080 60 but you can actually get, is it playing? No, I'm not taking off yet. There I am. Okay, now let's go. You can see me replaying my footage from here and you can also hear the sound of my bike. So it's nice that you can actually have the sound playing as you're reviewing your footage on your phone without having to download it. So that's pretty cool. And you can get into some settings. The only setting you cannot access from here, let me turn my ISO down just a little bit so you can see. The only setting you cannot access here that I see or that I noticed is the um, the image stabilization, but you got your resolutions here, your angles, your distortion calibration, white, white balance, screensaver, all that good stuff in here that you can access through the app. Now, overall, I would say this is a good camera to buy simply because of its price point and its features and accessories you're gonna get with it. You get a lot of accessories here, a ton of them. I actually left some of them outside because I was messing around with them, but you get a ton of accessories here but you get this gigantic touchscreen. Well, I say gigantic. It's on an action action camera, but it's a pretty big touchscreen. It's very responsive. You get the Wi-Fi with the app support, which is clutch and image stabilization. So yeah, you're getting a good deal here. Either way, I am no expert in this kind of stuff, but I do like this camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it two emoji hands up and you should give me two emoji hands in the comment section for doing this video and melting in the sun for you. I got to get out of here and go make some more videos. But while I'm gone, make sure y'all keep being good together and I'll see you when I see you. Oh, so you wanted them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Is that why you are here?